Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. As the title says, um, in today's video I'm just sharing with you what a day of having anxiety looks like for me, what my normal is. First thing I want to point out is this is honestly sometimes how anxiety feels. Just everything going a million miles an hour and you can't focus and it just makes you crazy. I've been putting out this video because I really don't want anyone to think that I am like dramatizing anything because I definitely think that everyone, of course I'm not a doctor, but I think that everyone goes through a time in their life or even their day when they are more anxious than other times. Um, but I do think that for some of us it is more apparent in our lives and it lingers longer than anyone else. Um, so I just want to maybe add some awareness to people and also to give the people that do have anxiety some company and let them know that they're not alone. They know that that's really important. So here you go guys. This is how I deal with the anxiety in my life. Okay, so here it is about 7.45, 8ish and I am hearing my kids make up but I'm just staying in bed for a little bit longer, as much as I can get away with, because on my anxious days, I try to stay in bed for as long as possible. Then I finally decided to get up and go downstairs and make the kids some breakfast. It's always key for me to have something on hand that will fill them up for a long time and also be healthy for them, so I'm making them some peach oatmeal with some fresh peaches, which honestly makes me so happy. So I'm just cutting up my peaches. And to be honest, on these days where I'm having a hard time and I'm feeling anxious, my days are the same and I, and I pretty much go about my days the same, but it's just a lot of chatter in my mind, like a lot of guilt, a lot of um, worrying about if I'm doing something wrong or if someone's mad at me or if my kids are gonna get hurt or something like that. So I'm really going to try to convey all of that in this video because it's kind of hard to show you, but the mindset is really what changes the whole day, I guess. Now that breakfast is ready, it's time to say prayers and I always ask Talmud to say a prayer and then he tries to get Maya to say the prayer and Maya is learning how to pray and it's pretty much the cutest thing in the world because I love her words so much. <laughs> you like it? When my kids eat their food, this is the time for me. And I like to spend this time reading my scriptures and doing my affirmations and all that stuff. And just being more intentional about my day and my thoughts and everything. Um, and just starting my day off in a positive way just makes such a big difference. So today I am reading in Alma. And I just use the LDS Tools app and I just listen to the scriptures while I my kids eat their breakfast. That way I can... Um, clean up spills and help them eat or get them more food all while listening to the scriptures so it makes my life a lot easier. While I'm listening to the scriptures I like to kind of think of one thing that I can get out of it that day and write it down so I can kind of think about it for the rest of the day and it just adds another, another level of spirituality to my life and I just really like it. Now that I'm done with my scriptures, this is when I like to write down three things that I'm grateful for. And then I also like to write down um, three affirmations for myself that day. I usually try to come up with three to five every month or so. And I write the same ones down every morning until I feel like I'm getting better at those things. And then I'll kind of change them up a little bit. This has really worked well for me. After that, I like to eat a very nutritious breakfast, which is usually my kids' leftovers <laughs> because I'm too lazy to make myself, myself something at this point. And also, I can't eat a lot before I go exercise, so, you know, just a little life hack for you. Next thing is I run upstairs and I brush my teeth and get ready a little bit, get my 
exercise clothes on so that I can go to the gym and um, today I'm rocking a very wrinkly shirt and obviously a dirty mirror pretty cool and then I run downstairs and I get my kids ready these days I try to be pretty minimal like especially with like Maya's hair I love to do Maya's hair but these days I do not have energy for anything so it's usually a quick ponytail and then tell my joys a hat so it's great as a mom no matter how tired I am I always try to get my kids ready for the day I think that it probably helps with their confidence and I just think it's really important for them to look loved <laughs> um, but that's just something that I have decided for myself is important to me as well <laughs> Now we are off to the gym, and I love going to the gym. It's my me time, and the kids go to the play area to be babysat, and it's awesome. So I just got done with the gym. I didn't really want to film because I already feel super dumb when I go to the gym. Like, I don't know what I am doing. So <laughs> I did not want to film. But now we're just picking up our groceries. Maya's telling me to go. She's so frustrated. Okay, then when I got home, I brought all the groceries in. And this is a super chaotic time when I get home from the gym. And I'm trying to make lunch and put away my groceries on Mondays. Um, so anyways, I made the kids a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then Brayden got home. And he's my lifesaver when he gets home. He's the best. So he took over with the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches while I finished making our delicious san er, salads and we kind of tag teamed it because he only has a little bit of time at home before he has to go back to work. This is how our salads turned out. It was just a spicy chicken salad with grilled chicken and beans and corn and cheese and peppers and spinach and lettuce and um, a yogurt dressing which was super good. But I'm realizing that my the foods that I eat make a huge impact on my mood, especially if I'm able to keep my blood sugar at a stable level, then I'm a lot less likely to be anxious. So it's something that I'm really working on, but it's obviously hard because I have such a sweet tooth. But I, I'm trying to be better every day, so hopefully that's good enough. The days when Brayden decides to come home for lunch are some of my favorites because we just get to spend time as a family more and he's also just my sanity because the kids can play with him for a little bit and some of the pressure's off of me and it's just the best. I just love him. At this time, Brayden had gone back to work and I had just put the kids down for their quiet time and naps. So now it's just time for me to get everything in the world done because I only have one hour to do everything that I need to do. These are the, This is the time of day where I get pretty overwhelmed because I have to clean the kitchen, clean the rest of the house, take a shower, edit a video, um, and then if I want to have a hobby in there somewhere besides YouTube, then it's like impossible. So. I really have a hard time prioritizing in these moments, um, but of course I got my bachelor in while I was doing the dishes. So that's some pretty good multitasking, I guess. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm struggling, like having really, really hard days, sometimes I will just wipe the counters and put all the dishes in the sink and just leave it until nighttime because I just need a minute to myself and I just get super overwhelmed. And now I am totally contradicting what I said about two minutes ago where I said I need to eat healthy because now I am eating Oreos while I'm watching The Bachelorette. And this is just, this is just real life people. Sometimes your cravings take over. Um, I did work out this morning, so hey, whatever. And then I went upstairs and checked up on Talmadge. Um, he was yelling for me to come upstairs and... <laughs> We just got done watching a birth video, um, his birth video, like, a couple days ago, so birth has been on his mind a lot, and <laughs> this is him pushing his babies out. <laughs> 
I was laughing so hard. After the kids were asleep and the dishes were somewhat done, I decided to take a little bit of alone time in my grungy workout clothes still because I just needed that sanity for a little bit just to have some downtime. So I watched The Bachelorette and then I decided to call my mom after that. And I think it's just so important that you call someone. Um, even though it's so hard to talk to people because you feel like you're going to say the wrong thing or that someone might be mad at you, it's just so important to make sure you talk to someone. Now that the kids are up and it was raining outside, they wanted to go play outside in the rain. So I put the rain gear on, even though it was still 95 degrees outside. <laughs> they wanted to wear their raincoats. So they went outside and played a little bit while I started to make some dinner. Also, I'm just going to give you one guess why my windows are always dirty, along with my mirrors. Always dirty. I love it though. They're adorable. Okay, so I'm about to give you guys a pro tip, and it is to always have an easy dinner on hand in the freezer. I don't care what it is, but days where you're feeling really blah and just kind of down or anything like that, it's just nice to have something really easy to make in the fridge. So today we were having a very delectable dinner of a smoothie with some frozen pizza. <laughs> <laughs> balance and everything you guys I'm gonna be honest to say that this pizza was like way good but it made me feel like garbage I think it might have been the preservative the preservatives in it or something but I felt so gross after this so I am trying to learn to eat healthier just like what I just said before and I contradict what I say all the time but after we had dinner Talmadge wanted to wash the dishes and I'll be honest he does a pretty good job I'm impressed after dinner we all played for a little bit and then I peaced out and said I was gonna go take a shower because I felt disgusting. I've been trying to grow my hair out and get healthier so every day I like to brush my scalp pretty well. So I was just brushing my scalp before the shower. And then um, I got in the shower and this is the shampoo that I'm using right now and I like it okay. And then I like to use baking soda all over my body and my face. And then for my moisturizer, I just use mango butter or coconut oil or anything like that and I absolutely love it. I just really feel like taking care of yourself is super important, especially when you're not feeling the greatest. Um, just showing yourself that you care about yourself is just really important. So then I put some leave-in conditioner in my hair and some oil and then I went and crawled in bed with Brayden since the kids were in bed. And we just kind of like to hang out at night, maybe watch a show if we want. But I have to be super careful about what I watch. If it's too violent or anything like that, I get super scared. Next, I looked over my planner for the next day. Planning has been a huge um, anxiety management for me. It just makes such a difference knowing what is on my list for the week. And then I turned out the lights and it was time for bed. You guys, this is the hardest time of day for me darkness just like I don't know I'm still scared of the dark but it just brings a lot of anxiety into me and sometimes when I'm having a really hard time I will listen to a sleep meditation um, and then I'll eventually fall asleep just to wrap things up um if you are going through anxiety um, or you have anxiety I think the things to remember are to really just take care of yourself find what really makes you feel loved that you do for yourself and do that thing and also plan, like I like I said before, get a good planner and um, try to eat healthier foods that don't spike your blood sugar as much and get a lot of sleep and get some exercise. Those are things that have really helped me that I'm not perfect at, but I am trying to be better at. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope this video is helpful. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in my next video.